Men change ideas less than ideas change disguise. In the discourse of the centuries the same voices are in dialogue. It is easy to believe that we partake of certain virtues and we share in the defects they imply. To adapt is to sacrifice a remote good to an immediate necessity. Spiritual maturity begins and we stop feeling like we have to take care of the world. Love is the organ with which we perceive the unmistakable individuality of beings. Liberty is not an end, but a means. Whoever mistakes it for an end does not know what to do once he attains it. To satisfy man's pride is perhaps easier than our pride imagines. There are a thousand truths, error is one. When things appear to us to be only what they appear to be, soon they appear to be even less. Every end other than God dishonors us. Only liberty limits the abusive interventions of ignorance. Politics is the science of social structures made. Suitable for the common life of ignorant beings. An ideal society would be the graveyard of human greatness. After every revolution the revolutionary teaches that the true revolution will be tomorrow's revolution. The revolutionary explains that a despicable villain betrayed yesterday's revolution. Democratic parliaments are not forums where debates take place, but rather where popular absolutism registers its decrees. The bourgeois gives up his power in order to save his money, then he gives up his money in order to save his skin, and finally they hang him. The bourgeoisie is any group of individuals dissatisfied with what they have and satisfied with what they are. Marxists define the bourgeoisie in economic terms in order to hide from us the fact that they belong to it. The militant communist before his victory deserves the greatest respect. Afterwards, he is nothing more than an overworked bourgeois. Love of the people is the aristocrat's vocation. The Democrat does not love the people except during election season. By the same measure that the state grows, the individual shrinks. Unable to achieve what it desires, progress christens what it achieves desire. Technology does not fulfill man's perennial dreams, but craftily mimics them. When people stop fighting for the possession of private property, they will fight for the usufruct in collective property. Social mobility occasions class warfare. The enemy of the upper classes is not the inferior man who lacks every chance to rise, but rather the man who does not manage to rise when others rise. A certain disdainful way of speaking about the people reveals the plebeian in disguise. Man believes that his impotence is the measure of things. The authenticity of the sentiment depends on the clarity of the idea. The mob admires the confused more than the complex. Thinking is often reduced to inventing reasons to doubt the obvious. To refuse to wonder is the mark of the beast. The man who renounces appears impotent to a man incapable of renouncing. More surely than an accursed wealth there is an accursed poverty, that of the man who suffers not from being poor but from not being rich, that of the man who complacently tolerates every misfortune shared by someone else, that of the man who desires not to abolish poverty, but to abolish the good he covets. Man prefers to excuse himself with somebody else's fault rather than with his own innocence. Time should be feared less because it kills than because it unmasks. Phrases are pebbles that the writer tosses into the reader's soul. The diameter of the concentric waves they displace depends on the dimensions of the pond. Genius is the capacity to make on our stiff, frozen imagination the impact that any book makes on a child's imagination. The philosopher is not the spokesman of his age, but an angel imprisoned in time. To be right is just one more reason not to achieve any success.